welcome Leah's let's see what is going on um this is the month of May Leah's if this is your first time uh, please like and share um we look at uh, the houses so we go in and look at the houses and see what is going on in the lives of the Leah's okay which houses who is going to be affecting you and in what ways okay so Leo's remember that you are in the fifth house okay so we have 12 houses and you are in the fifth houses I see the energy of an enemy okay all right positive news is going to be coming in um you're going to overcome a situation all right let's see what's happening um the eight of cups in the house of the aries go check out the aries reading i see that some of you leah's had something to some sort of a problems uh, with the aries um this is the first house the eight of cups you're planning on letting go of a situation you finally decide to move on and let a situation go okay so the eight house is that you're taking your losses and you're letting a situation go in the second house you have the seven of cups there's a lot of emotional situations surrounding relationships surrounding money that is going to be coming up for a lot of you leos this is the seven of cups in the reverse uh, some of you leos feel as if you're are losing all of your options okay so this is why you're going to be um deciding to take your loss and move on um because you recognize that there is no more options um your options is as if you had a, a lot of options open and now you're realizing that they're no longer there so you're taking your losses and move on it's very emotional because a lot of you are sitting down and thinking about things that has transpired a lot of you deals could be dealing with people in authority okay this is the energy of the emperor for some of you leos you're dealing with your uh, your husband for some of you leos this is you if you're a businessman you are going to be dealing in issues in the third house the third house is the house of uh, environment um your neighbors uh, um co-workers uh, um and people in general okay and um, a lot of you businessmen are going to be taking a big loss and letting go of a situation. The energy of the Six of Pentacles, a lot of you Leos that need financial help surrounding a home. A lot of you Leos might have to give out a lot of money to repair something in your home. Expect that you Leos are going to be repairing something in your home in the month of May, okay? Uh, some of you, whatever is going on, you will get the financial help in order to do this, okay? In the fifth house, I see you're no longer going to be working out a situation uh, with someone. A lot of you Leos decide, I'm letting go of the situation. I don't want to work on this uh, situation, this problem, whatever this issue was, I'm letting go of it, okay? You Leos are now deciding, um, I have enough of this situation. I am not going to be putting myself out of the way in order to work. Now, this is in your house, Leo, the fifth house. Okay, Leos, this is in the fifth house. So there is, you Leos are going within. You are taking the month of May, going within and recognizing that you are letting go of a lot of stuff. You're no longer going to be working out or working on relationships or a situation that is not delivering anything, Okay. It's like no money, no, no money, no talk for you, Leos, in the month of May. As we look in the um, sixth house, we see the energy of uh, um, uh, Venus in Aquarius, Venus in Aquarius, okay? Some sort of a problematic situation could be coming up um, in your house surrounding your house or at work with conflicts communication a lot of conflicts a lot of word going back and front um i think you leos are saying to someone i no longer want to be connected or i don't want the relationship um a lot of you leos are going to be um speaking the truth to a loved one uh this could be someone who wanted to work with you, move in with you. This could be someone who already lived in your house 
uh, you could be um, letting someone know, um, I don't want to work on this relationship, this friendship anymore. I'm letting it go, okay? So we're going to be looking at uh, who exactly, um, uh, what is this? Because this is Venus in Aquarius. Um, and Venus is in Aquarius is in your sixth house, your everyday house, but there's a lot of emotional conflicts and it's like, just let it go. I don't want to, I don't want to move forward with you. Okay. The energy of the six of cups, there's another six. So there's a lot of situations surrounding past life conflicts with people, communication. Um, there is situations surrounding money and home. Okay, but this is like family issues, past life, family issues, people from the past, um, past life is coming back uh, to reconnect uh, with you. Okay, um, and uh, this um, is a situation uh, for some of you look out for a scorpion. Venus is in Scorpio also. So a lot of you could be dealing with Aquarians and Scorpion. Communication is coming in from a Scorpion. Whoever the Scorpion is and whatever is going on, expect, because this is in the house of uh, uh, the 8th house. Communication is coming in from out of the 8th house. So it could be coming in from a Scorpion person, or it's going to be coming in surrounding something to do with a Scorpion person, or it could be coming in from a past life family member. Okay, remember we have a past life people. You have an enemy. Okay, ninth house. So I see you're offering love to someone, or someone in the ninth house could be offering love to you. Whatever is going on and transpire, I see you, Leos, are trying to offer love uh, to someone. Um, it could be someone in another place, another city. Okay, I see you know you're looking for a connection with someone, whoever you, Leos, are, are looking for. Some sort of a connection because I see luck and love surrounding the ninth house. Okay, this could be someone in another country um, that could be offering you love. Okay, in your tenth house, debt and transition. Okay, so your tenth house is work and career, debt and transition. Okay, for some of you, uh, car, um, um, there could be some sort of an ending. Um, I ending with a relationship, uh, is going to be going on, whatever is going on and transpiring in your 11th house, you're seeing the truth to a situation. You're no longer blindfolded. You were blindfolded. There was some sort of a secrecy that was kept. No longer is the secret kept. You're now seeing the truth. Um, this could be a family member that you were dealing with. For some of you, it's your husband. Uh, if your husband kept some sort of a secret, from you, the truth is coming out, okay? Then we see the Knight of Swords. And this Knight of Swords is in the 12th house. Some sort of a communication in the 12th house. There's a lot of communication that is going to be coming up in the month of May, okay? Now, um, 12th house situation. There's a lot of 12th house situation that is going on. I see regrets. Um, have to make decision about money. A lot of regrets and a lot of people have to make some sort of a decision, um, um, make some sort of a decision. There's a lot of regrets, okay? A lot of you, Leo, regret a situation with a Capricorn. A lot of you, Leos, could have done something to a Capricorn and is now regretting what you have done to this Capricorn. Because in the house of the Capricorn, the Capricorn is ending some sort of a connection or ending some sort of a commitment they have with you, Leos. You regret the situation for whatever this... Uh, uh, whatever that was going on, you're regretting a situation surrounding a Capricorn. Um, you could have done something to this person. You could have created some sort of a problem for this person. You're regretting. Your major issue is in the third house. You could be dealing with people in authority. Uh, definitely, you could be dealing with people in authority. The only major issue is in your third house. And your third house is the house of environment. It's a uh, the house of public, public recognition, public eyes, in the public eyes, okay? Um, and uh, yes, there is a lot of situation that is going on. And you, you, Leos, you really do have an enemy, okay? And uh, a lot of you, Leos, are regretting something 
um, surrounding um, work, some sort of a transition, okay? So you're no longer wants to work in an emotional situation. You recognize that there is, you're not going to get anything. Love is going to be ending. You're ending some sort of a love connection um, and you're walking away. Uh, I see some of you, Leos, are going to be um, ending some sort of a relationship because you want to get married. You want to be in a, um, a marriage. You want to be in a relationship with a marriage. You're looking for something that is stable. You're looking for a healthy person to have a relationship with. And whoever that you were living with or wanted to move in with you, you recognize that this person do not have a healthy uh, sense of normal uh, in their lives okay and you're like no i don't want i don't want this relationship i don't want this situation okay that is coming up and a lot of you leo's men are going to be finding out something about your family or your in-laws whatever is going on there is something about family and in-laws venus in aquarius i told you you're having problems with um authority some sort of a problematic situation with authority is coming up, Leos. Communication is coming up because they found out the truth about, it could be they're finding out the truth about an Aquarius. Or you, Leos, are going to be finding out the truth about an Aquarius. And you're going to be ending this love affair that was going on. You could have been having some sort of a secret affair um, with someone. Um, but... In the house, in the 11th house, the 11th house is the house of the Aquarius. And uh, you are, you found out something and you're going to be uh, ending some sort of a love affair with this person. Okay, you could have, have some sort of a secret connection with this person and you're going to be ending it because the truth is coming in. So a Libran, um, a Libran is going to be ending some sort of a love affair that was going on also. Whoever this Libran is... Um, I see a, a Gemini is going to be finding out something. A Libran is going to be finding out something. Um, Julius could be, um, yeah, it, it's like the communication that is coming in is from a, um, a, a Libran or a Gemini. That is going to be telling you, Leos, that they're ending the connection with you, okay? You know, like, don't call me or they're going to be definitely not blocking their telephone, but just say, um don't connect with me okay and whatever the if you had a secret affair or whatever the secret affair was in the 11th in the eighth house is going to be coming out i see a lot of regrets a lot of regrets are happening there's a lot of emotional situation that is transpiring venus in aquarius is here a lot of you leos are going to be turning your backs on uh, maybe family okay um, maybe soul family, families, okay? Because you don't want to work out an, a, a situation with a family. You're going to be ending some sort of a connection, love connection. This is definitely a love connection, okay? The ending of a love connection or a love offer of, a, of an affair. You're going to be ending it, okay? Because the truth is coming out. A lot of you, Leos, is a, seeing the truth of a situation. It's like someone was pulling the, the illusion over your eyes about the connection they were in. And you, Leos, is going to be finding out this is not true. This person has been holding me in an illusionary state of mind. And you're going to be letting it go. All right, let's see the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is uh, that um, something new is about to come in your world. A lot of you, Leos, are going to be turning your back on some sort of a love affair or love relationship. You're in search of a husband, not a lover, not an, um, uh, someone who, um, you know, is attracted to you because of the sex. You are turning your back and new love. As soon as you decide to cut this person out, you are going to be recognizing that the universe is going to be working in your favor in order to bring a more healthier person. The energy of Lauro is that some of you Leos could have been having an affair with someone. This person is going to be caught. They're going to be recognizing this person. You know, like they had multiple ways of um, incomes, creating incomes, but they're going to be caught because, yes, they're going to be caught and going to jail. Oh my God. This person is going to be caught and go to jail. 
uh, Leos, it can be an Aries person, it can be a Scorpion person, and it can be a Pisces person. Um, well, Leos, we're having multiple incomes. Be aware because something is off, okay? Because this is in your second house. Um, if you were creating multiple way of incomes, they're going to be catching you, okay? You have an enemy, Leos. I did see it. You have a male enemy and a female enemy, okay? You could become the enemy of someone. I see a lot of you, Leos, are going to be uh, like um, Leos who use someone else's information in order to get tax return. You're going to be caught, okay um a lot of you leos are are in problems and you're looking for some sort of a financial help surrounding a home okay or you leos is going to be finding out something surrounding a home and how you have lost a lot of money um they are now recognizing something about uh, you leos at the workplace could be finding out something about your co-workers okay there is something surrounding work and co-workers that is coming up, Leos. Okay, you're going to be finding out something about your co-workers. Okay, Venus in Aquarius. So, um, I told you, Venus in Aquarius is um, you're going to be getting some sort of a message from an Aquarian, um, whether man or woman. Okay, some sort of a love message from an Aquarian. Um, I see you're going to be receiving that. It's like this person wants to move in or wants. Yeah, to co collaborate with you. Then we are seeing the energy of a judge. Um, uh, some sort of a legal issue surrounding family could be coming up. Um, yes, definitely. A sweetheart. Um, there is something that is going on because Venus is in Aquarius. This is in the sixth house. Some of you could be meeting someone through work. So be aware of this. So a tower moment is here. Some sort of a news is coming in. This is going to be creating a tower moment and it's going to be bringing a lot of regrets surrounding situation that to do with secrecy that was kept is going to be coming out. Leo's secrecy surrounding the eighth house is going to be coming out. Be aware of this because a tower moment is coming in. They're now recognizing a family. I see a family uh, is going to be giving you love. So where the love was in the ninth house, it is that your family um, or you could be offering love to your family in another place or another city. I see a lot of you, Leos, are going to be helping out your family in another place or another city. A debt, a lot of you, Leos, that was accumulating a lot of wealth, this is going to be coming to an end. It's not a transition, it is really an end. So if you had a business, some sort of a business or some way that, because here you, Leos, were um, having multiple avenues of opportunity coming in. Um, you are going to be closing uh, or these avenues of um, incomes is going to be coming in. Unexpected luck is going to be coming in because you find out something surrounding the house of the Aquarians, the 11th house. Um, something comes out. Um, you could have been dealing with someone or a group of people. This is the house of the Aquarians. You're going to be finding out something about an Aquarian, and this is going to be bringing you luck, okay? Um, because it's like, um, it could be some sort of a situation that you were dealing with people in authority, and something came out about people in authority. I don't know um, what was going on. If you and your husband was going through some sort of a separation, um, you're going to be finding this out. Uh, there's some sort of a news that is going to be coming in to, from some sort of a government institution, okay? Uh, so this is an issue dealing with authority because we see um, the energy of authority in the third house. Um, they're going to be catching someone, a whole lot of information is going to be coming out. They're going to be catching someone. There's a lot of information. There is, you know, you have enemies that is here. Okay, Leos. But um, whatever is going on, um, your family is going to be supporting you, Leos. Okay? That is something that is going on. So family is going to be supporting you. A lot of you, Leos, that has some sort of a family business, something is going to be coming out. They could be recognizing that um, 
people could have been um, taken from you, Leah. Some sort of information from a government institution is definitely going to be um, coming up or some sort of a huge corporation. Okay, but something that you, Leos, was doing, especially Leos that had multiple incomes, whatever that was going, you, Leos, that had multiple incomes, whatever that was going on is, is, is going to be, um, a changes is coming up, okay? So, Leos, I see you could be connecting with an Aries person, okay? New love is coming in. It can be an Aries or a Pisces. Some of you could be walking away from a Aries and moving to a Pisces, moving on with a Pisces. That is happening. In your second house, I see you're trying to balance on the situation. It's like all your multiple incomes is, uh, is slowing down for some of you who had multiple incomes. They caught a person and some of you are going to, a person is going to be caught. I don't know if it's you or someone, but it has to do with something with money, but Whoever Laro the thief is, is going to go to jail, okay? The six of pentacles is in the reverse. A lot of you Leo businessmen could be going to jail for some sort of a tax and fraud or tax invasion, or you could be caught having multiple incomes and did not give it up, and they're going to be catching you. Sadness, sadness and the end for your enemy. A lot of you, Leos, had an enemy. This could have been a Cancer or a Taurus. Sadness for a Cancer or a Taurus. Um, they are now been caught, okay? So your enemy, whoever your enemy is and was working against you, sadness because they have been caught. Uh, Jupiter is in Capricorn. A Capricorn is going to be overcoming something that you, Leos, have done. You, Leos, who had created some sort of a problematic situation for a Capricorn, this is now coming to an end, and Jupiter is in Capricorn. A Capricorn is going to be overcoming what you, Leos, had done. It's like you, Leos, had worked against a Capricorn or work against a Capricorn to do something. They found out what you have done. There's a whole lot of secrecy. They're going to be finding out secrecy of uh, you, Leos, and an Aquarian person. People in authority is going to be finding out secrecy of you, Leos, some sort of a secret connection that you, Leos, had with an Aquarius or with a Virgo. It is going to be coming out because this is in your sixth house. A lot of people are going to be finding out uh, that you, Leos, and a Aquarian had some sort of a secret affairs, okay? Because, see, this is secret Meeting, text messaging, communication with an Aquarius. This person is just looking a place to live. That's that's the only reason why. Okay, they're looking a place to live because they recognize that what the play that they were making with another person, another person just see see through them and recognize, you know, move on to the next way. A resolution is going to be coming in for your family, Leo's. If your family had some sort of a legal issues, a resolution is going to be coming in. Um, if you were having legal issues with your married or divorce, um, it is going to be coming in. Four of Pentacles, a Capricorn has a strong foundation. A Capricorn person showed up some sort of a dissolution that was going on. Four of Pentacles, I see some sort of a, um, ending is coming in. And true, an ending, a, a strong financial situation is going to be coming about, Okay. Um, the Knight of Cups. This is a Pisces person. Um, it doesn't have to be a Pisces person, but some sort of a love. I see this Pisces person is going to be showing some sort of a love. It's, it's as if a family member, if this you have a son that is a Pisces, this person is going to be um, collaborating with the family in order to show you love, okay? The Seven of Pentacles. Um, they're going to be recognizing something because in the seven of pentacles, um, you're, it's like your incomes is going to be slowing down for some of you, not all of you. Okay. <clears throat> the energy of debt is in the 10th house and the 10th house is about work and career. And this is going to be coming to an end for some of you. There is some sort of a slowdown because whatever is happening, they're looking in on the multi-incomes that a lot of you Leo's have been receiving. Um, the five of wands, the conflicts is now over. Um, a Libran is now recognizing the truth um, of a group of people. The conflicts is now over. 
and whatever is going on is that they're now recognizing they're seeing the truth of what was going on and they are now aware a lot of you leos could be finding out that someone you're living in or living with is having an affair okay no new start is going to be coming up i see a karmatic situation is not yet over so a lot of you leos could be hoping for some sort of a new start new beginning with a gemini or an aquarian or a libran gemini uh aquarian or libran um you leos thought that you were going to get some sort of a new start living in a big house with an aquarian gemini or libran but it's not going to be working out because it's as if someone recognized some sort of a foul play that was transpiring. And um, it's like this person tried to give you some sort of a documentation to falsify something. And they found out what this person have done. Okay. So when we're looking, we see Venus in Aquarius. The energy of Venus in Aquarius is that... Uh, um, uh, Venus is in Aquarius in your sixth house. This is your everyday house. And there is, um, it's as if you, Leos, find out that this person lied. You, Leos, found out that this person lied. I I think that you could have been working with someone. Uh, you, Leos, yes, uh, because this is, this is working with someone, okay? So it's like you, Leos, recognize that, hey, uh, someone... Because Venus is in Aquarius. Venus is in Aquarius recognizing something. That there was some sort of a secret affair. That could have been happening. You could have been living with someone. And this is Venus in Aquarius. It's like someone's telephone is being checked. And recognized that someone has some sort of a secret love affair going on. Um, Leos, they're going to be checking. I don't know if it's your telephone or an Aquarius that you're living with or an Aquarius that you're having some sort of a secret love affair with, secret connection. You have been um, secretly texting this person, this person texting you. They're going to be finding out that this person is having some sort of a secret affair going on, okay? Um, whoever this person is, is very dishonest. It's not an honest person. This person... You know, they're so dishonest that they they fall on their own lies. Um, this person is not honest to themselves, so they cannot be honest more. But a Capricorn person is going to be shutting it down because a Capricorn person is recognizing that this person is trying to play them. And, you know, with Jupiter is in Capricorn because this person is going to be like this person is going to be finding out what this person has been doing. Because you see, this person um live with, could have lived with the capricorn and this person create a lot of chaos and illusion to um lie on the capricorn because everyone knows that the capricorn is just someone who is just upright and just but um whatever is going on and you know this person is so dishonest because i don't understand people why are you with someone if uh, you are only with someone for um living arrangements or you know fuck off fuck off you know don't use another person i mean who the fuck you know sorry ladies and gentlemen but i you know i i really sit and think about as um uh, why people do certain things you don't like someone you like what they have okay but you want to profit from that person move the fuck on move on you know, why you think that you should profit from another person? The person that you have or the person that you want, don't have it. So you want to fucking profit from another person. I don't know. You know, people get a fucking life. People are so this, you know, I really start to see through how so mentally disturbed a lot of people are. If you don't like someone, go to the person that you like, but don't take from another person because the other, because someone is, you know, really helping you um, because the person thought that you have helped in order. No, you're just a fucking manipulator and you just want to take from other people. Move on. Jesus Christ. I mean, how do you live with yourself? Obviously you live with yourself and you can go to bed and sleep at nights but, you know, but whatever the secret situation is, it's like someone is saying, you know, just, just, just move on, you know. Um, 
this is not doing it just just move on so this is what you leos are going to be saying to this person you know you're not being honest to yourself because i know that there is someone else in this picture i i have a sense of knowledge and understanding and a lot of people think that you leos can be fooled but you leos cannot be fooled so what is going to be happening is that you're going to definitely tell this person if you leos was having a secret affair with an aquarian person or a scorpion person you're going to be telling this person i don't want to have this situation anymore because you're not speaking the truth you know you're in a relationship with someone else because of financial stability because this is in the house of uh, the aquarians you're going to be finding out something about an aquarian and recognize that they're using someone else to profit off and is at the same time having this connection with you and you're like going to be just you know move on let it go why are you playing two people you know these people and you know leo's you're going to be saying to this person you know you always wonder why things happens to you it's because you're not being honest to yourself and you play other people and you create other situation in other people's life and this is the reason why so some sort of a new start that um you leo's i thought that you were going to get uh, with an um with someone they're going to be you're going to be finding out that this person lied because it's like this person give you some sort of a documentation and said use this and you're going back and checking the documentation and recognize yeah but you don't live here you don't live there and um, you're not connected um there um you have no you're not even registered at that address so why would i use this address you know and, you know, I think that this is going to become um, very, very um, international because I think that they're going, you're going to be recognizing this man gave me someone else's information, was trying to reel me in and think that they were going to get a house. But you see, whoever this person is, they and their friend are planning on killing a Capricorn, but it's not going to be working out because they're going to be caught because... You see, the thing about it is that what criminals don't think about is that there's always someone watching, always someone watching. And the universe always makes sure that things get out so that they can understand. Because you see, this crooked man was planning to kill someone and bring you Leah's in on that person data and information in order to get a big house. Okay, this this thing, this this person has done this in a past life. Whoever this person is, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran, have done this um, in a past life and got away with it. But this time, it's like the universe came back for this person to make the wrong rights. And this person is planning the same thing, and this person is going to end up going to prison. Okay, so whatever this person is i don't know you know this this person is mentally disturbed whoever this person is is mentally off you know um because they gave you because you're going to be finding out shit the documents that this person gave me the information that this person gave me to say that they live someplace they're not registered that address that is not true you know this person was trying to kill because you see the, the dumbest fucking thing that they did was to ask the woman, do you have any family? Do you have any family um, where you live? Because the woman was on to them because the woman recognized that this man um, is very body body up with someone. And this man was going to use the person to kill the lady so that they could get the lady's house. And he's going to use Ulias to come in under the latest data and information. So this man, because this lady was like, why the fuck would you be asking me if I have family where I live or don't I have family? So you see, this whole thing is going to blow up. And, you know, what, what people do not understand is that universe, you know, don't fuck with God people. Okay, don't don't mess up and try to figure out because they're going to know that you and this man has been having some conversation leos because it's all about the fucking money but leos 
you know, the thing about it, Leos, is that you're going to be recognizing, no, this man is working with this person. This man live in this person's house. This man don't own the house. His name is not on the house. So you, Leos, is going to be telling this man, hey, stop, don't text me, don't, you know, and they're going to be recognizing this because they're going to be recognizing that there's a lot of foul play that has been transpiring and it's been happening. And um, they're going to be figuring out who these people are and what these people. So there's a lot of sadness because they're going to be catching your enemy for a lot of you, Leos. And a tower moment is coming in because the Capricorn person, the sun is in Capricorn, Venus in Capricorn is going to be showing out the liars and the thief that these people are. And they're going to be finding out exactly what these people were planning on doing. I do love you. Namaste. Until next time.